Welcome to another Fireside Chat. We are committed to do these as long as we are not able to gather together in person. We want to be faithful to keep you all updated on things happening in the life of the church and pray with you in this way each week. Just a way to update you all, we're going to continue to monitor the timeline that's laid out by the state of Kansas and Johnson County. Even just this week, there's been some changes to the timeline. And so with that in mind, we're going to consult with the board and the staff on when we will start to begin to gather in person. But at this point, we're going to refrain from naming a date um, as we haven't met with the board and staff yet to make this decision. But as always, we'll keep you updated and we'll let you know as soon as we know. This is getting really old. (laughs) Old. Yep. I got to be honest with you guys as well. I'm getting a little weary. I, I miss you. And I know that we're doing the right things by being patient and waiting until we can gather together again. I just want you to know that I love you and I miss you all. Well, me too. Yeah. Me too. (laughs) But there is some things that we're doing as a staff that we are really getting excited about. And I don't know, Pastor Chuck, when we first started here at Shawnee, we talked about our our love and our passion for prayer. Is that right? Yeah. And so one of the things that you and I have always been committed to is having these 24 hours of prayer throughout the year. Right. And um, I don't know, those have just been some significant times for me in my prayer life and, and probably for you as well. And so one of the things that we're doing is trying to think about a creative way for us to have our 24 hours of prayer together. And so we're still committed to doing that. It's just going to look a little different. Instead of us coming to the prayer room and signing up for shifts to do that, we're actually going to have it all online. There's going to be, what? No, sometimes people ask us, uh, why do we have to come to the church? Why can't I pray at home? And that's true. You can pray at home, but there's a beauty of coming to the church and doing something out of the routine and really making an effort disrupting your routine, if you will, to come and focus on prayer. Well, we can't do that like that, but um, we still can pray. That's right. And in the future, when we are able to, we'll do it together again. Right. Um, And so we are going to put 24 hours of prayer and worship online, and it'll be streamed live. It'll be on Facebook, on YouTube, and there will also be a special page on our website dedicated to that. It just doesn't seem like you can wrap your mind around that right now, but it's, it is going to be really cool, and it'll be really simple to be part, part of, to participate. Yep. yep, and so you can jump in any time to participate in those times of prayer. So mark your calendars from May 30th, starting at 9.30 in the morning, to May 31st at 9.30 in the morning. There will be one tangible way you can come to the church and pray, and that's for an outside prayer walk. Six feet apart. That's right. right. That's right. We're going to have various prayer stations set up with prayer prompts around the church that you can go and walk around. If you want to come to the church and walk around and pray to do that, you can. We just ask that you stay six feet apart. Of course. It's kind of like if you go golfing and you have to wait, right, for the next person, for the next group to get to the next hole. Same kind of idea here. You're going to want to wait for that next group to move ahead before you go to the next station. And that's just something that a few might want to do as an option. Yep. And that will also be recorded and put online too. So if you can't make it to the church for that prayer walk, one of the sessions online will be that prayer walk as well. Very good. You know, we love you all. We continue to lift you all up in prayer. And if you need anything at all, don't hesitate to reach out. If you're feeling weary like us too, then shoot either one of us an email and we will be happy to connect with you, to pray with you, to just chat. Our emails are on the screen if you need to connect with us. Pastor Chuck, will you close us in prayer? Thank you, Lord, for these uh, days that, that we can seek you, that we can listen carefully to you. I pray that you would help us Uh, to be people of prayer wherever we are, in our homes, in our cars, even at work when we're able to do that. I ask that you'd help us to be people who are known for our prayer lives. And we we will practice that uh, the day leading up to um, uh, Pentecost Sunday. And so I ask, Lord, already you'd prepare our hearts and that this will be a time when we can draw near to you. Thank you for our sisters and brothers. Thank you for their patience. Thank you for their Um, commitment to you. And I pray that you'd help us all to lean on you more than ever before. In the name of Jesus, our Lord, we pray. Amen. Amen. One more thing, Pastor Kerr, I'd like to say. Yeah. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Amen. Amen.